This poet, calling him pompous, is uh, very kind, probably. Reminds you of a certain uh, Andy Dufresne, doesn't he? I mean, the guy definitely had to be Tim Robbins' inspiration. He's just so full of himself in every scene, and like everyone adores him. And I think the biggest difference between these two Delta Bravos is that <laughs> one of them is acting. All right, so clearly you don't hope. And uh, speaking of hope, you better hope you don't miss out on what we have lined up for March 26th because Birdemic Shock and Terror is coming to be HBCB movie. The movie that asks, when birds go ape and come for you, is there a more sensible weapon than a coat hanger? Check the trailer and see for yourself. So, now you got a big payday with a big stock option, huh? Yeah, I earned it. All those big deals I did with NCT. And millions of dollars of revenues and sales. Well, you've done a great job, Rod. Meet Rod. Hi. A young software salesman on his way to achieving his Silicon Valley dream. Thinking about opening up a green tech company. Really? Meet Natalie, a beautiful young fashion model driven by passion. I remember you now. You were my English class. I was. Yeah. So how come you never made a pass at me in school? Throw true love into the equation and anything is possible. I was wondering if we can keep in contact. Sure. How big was the sale? One million dollars. In other news today, the population of polar bears is declining rapidly. Hi, my name is Jerry Owens. I'm from Solar Power Accessories. This morning, flocks of seagulls and crows were found dead in downtown San Jose and along Highway 101. Hey, I thought I told you to stand back. These birds are contaminated. The crows and seagulls also caused an accident on Highway 101. Authorities are investigating the cause of their death. Rod, let's get out of here. species is a dangerous, menacing, and terrifying animal. Why would birds do something like that? I mean, why, why would they just attack? I don't know. So we've got that going for us, which is nice. Derek, thoughts on Birdemic? This one's gonna be a rough one, folks. I'm not sugarcoating it here. This movie has a one point, who cares? It's awful on IMDb. Make sure you have a group of friends when you're watching because you can only get through it by making fun of it. If you're watching alone, you gotta get a 12 pack because you'll need it. <laughs> yeah, no, O'Doul's is not gonna cut it. You know, so go all out and then protect your beverage with one of our little B-movie koozies here. All right, that's enough out of us for now, but we'll check in with you throughout the night. And don't forget that our B-Movie Banter Q&A with legendary director Joe Dante goes down in our third segment. And stay aware, provide the correct answer to the question, what is the name Miller's Walter Paisley bestows upon his first masterpiece? <laughs> and you can get your hands on the t-shirt of your choice from Redbubble out of San Francisco. Send those answers to bmovie at hbci.com and we'll pick one lucky winner who'll receive an online code good for any shirt available under the redbubble.com umbrella but for now dick miller a bucket of blood and ask yourself are you aware enjoy <laughs>